Welcome back to HB RV Lifestyle, and today we are RV Super Center in Temeca, California, and I'm going to do a walkthrough on the 37 FLH Sabre. This is one of my favorite floor plans and brands to sell when I was a salesperson. It's a bath and a half front living room, and if you're tall, you're going to love the bedroom. So let's get started on the walkthrough. That's right, guys. One of my favorite front living room floor plans. In fact, I'm not typically a fan of front living rooms, never have been, but this is a bath and a half. Of course, Sabre is made by Forest River, probably my favorite manufacturer right now, especially during this pandemic. It'll have an auto level system. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. If you enjoy these walkthroughs, please hit the like button. It makes it easier for YouTube to spread it amongst the RVers. This will have a hitch for, you know, storage or bike racks, backup camera, which is wireless. The wireless backup camera, they're switching to an app, um, but a few of them you might find have the wireless monitor that goes inside your truck. And of course, we have an outside kitchen. I want to remind everyone that an outside kitchen, the only way the refrigerator works is if you're plugged in or running a generator. So don't put anything in there while you're traveling because they ain't going to get cold. It'll have a power awning, solid step, nice big pass-through storage up front. Sorry about the sniffles today. Big Santa Ana winds and my allergies are going nuts. All right, as we walk in the coach, we're going to fade in and out because there was so much glare I was blinding myself. So it's going to skip right to the pantry. So the pantry is huge. It has a light inside that's censored for when it's opened up. And then you have plenty of drawers and cabinets for all of your cooking needs. Propane stove, three burner, I'm um, sorry, three burner stove, propane uh, oven. And then island kitchen, solid surface. No, the coffee does not come with the coach. That's my coffee, thumbs up. <laughs> And it has a one-piece sink, lots of storage next to the refrigerator. Now, this refrigerator inside is not propane. In fact, I will be straightforward and tell you that the majority of the RV business is getting away from propane electric refrigerators. Ooh, there goes that glare again. Um, this will run on the inverter that is assigned solely for the refrigerator. And it has a juice pack or what we call a 50-amp solar panel trickle charger for the batteries. So we'll make sure that your refrigerator does not get warm down the road. It'll stay cold. Now, of course, the front living room is very standard. It has big screen TV, two sleeper sofas that fold out into beds. And then, of course, you have your fireplace, your radio, plugs, uh, little cabinets for all of your DVDs, things of that nature. And then, of course, you have your recliners with cup holders directly across from the television. Now, what they're doing is they're going to a uh, table and chairs for the dining room and then behind this door is a half bath and i don't show it in this video but behind the master bedroom door is more closet well i shouldn't say closet i should say pantry space and the reason why i said at the beginning of this video that folks are all will love this it's got a king size bed and in the bedroom which you're going to spend more time in the bedroom than you are in the living room it's tall. You're not going to have to worry about ducking down, being a turtle, or feel like you're in a sardine can. And of course, you got closets on both sides. I wasn't able to open up everything, uh, mostly because of time constraints. I had to get so much done in a day, so I apologize about that. But at least I got to show you some of the open drawers and closets. And then on that little shelf right there, you're going to have some plugs for a TV, USB charger, standard stuff. And when we walk in the bathroom, it's humongous. You have this beautiful little cabinet area where you can either use it as a hanging closet, linen closet, or you could take it all out and put a stackable washer dryer in there since it's already pre-plumbed for it. The other really cool thing about this floor plan is since the bathroom is in the back, the shower has space for a tall guy. You're not ducking down going, hey, hello, let me hide my turtle in my shell. <laughs> you know, you're not going to feel like you're from Finding Nemo. And then, of course, you got dual his and her sinks, and they both have mirrors. 
and you have a lot, a lot of storage inside the bathroom. I know I say that word probably 50 times in every video, um, but storage is so important. And then so is where the toilet's located. You want people to stretch your legs when you're sitting on the toilet. If you don't disagree with me, let me know in the comments section. Now, as we're walking back, and you're going to take one final view of this. Um, there are other walkthrough videos on fifth wheels, and I'm going to put that link right in the top right hand corner. You're going to see that box. Go ahead and click on that if you want to see more fifth wheel floor plans and brands.